Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show as usual. And uh, well, we, have, we just had uh, the Group A fixtures ending at the Champions League 2012. Uh, and there were victories for Sydney Sixers. In fact, Sydney Sixers put up a very good performance. Uh, they look to be definitely looking really uh, strong favourites to actually probably take the Champions League 2012 according to me. Because they have a very good blend of batting, bowling, the fielding is good. And today, even though, in, in fact, what was good about Sydney Sixers win was uh, even though uh, Mumbai Indians uh, bowled well and restricted the Sydney Sixers to a score of 136, and the Mumbai, uh, in fact, Sydney Sixers still won the match by 12 runs. So uh, that was really, really creditable. And Sydney Sixers had a clean slate in the sense that they never, ever lost a single match in this Champions League 2012. So that really makes me feel that Sydney Sixers are strong favourites to actually win this uh, uh, 2020 Champions League 2012. And as you know, uh, the semi-finals are beginning from 25th of October. Now, as far as this match is, I'll come to that later. Now, the other match that happened earlier was between Yorkshire and Chennai Super Kings. As I said, today was the last day of the Group uh, Group B fixtures, sorry, not Group A, Group A B fixtures. It was Yorkshire versus Chennai Super Kings. Chennai Super Kings prevailing over Yorkshire by four wickets. In fact, Yorkshire made 140 for six, and they have been really, really been like struggling in this tournament. The, uh, the Champions League 2012 has not been something uh, that Yorkshire will take home. Uh, in fact, uh, they really, really struggled, and Chennai Super Kings uh, went on to victory by four wickets. Even though there was not much interest left in the match because uh, both of them have already packed their bags uh, to leave for their respective countries. Well, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the same match uh, between the Chennai Super Kings and Yorkshire. The Chennai Super Kings were the ones who won the toss and as has been customary in this uh, 2020 Champions League 2012, uh, the, the, the team that wins the toss inserts the opposition and that's what precisely happened. Uh, in fact, today the captain for Chennai Super Kings was not Suresh, uh, sorry, it was not Mahendra Singh Dhoni, but it was Suresh Raina. Mahendra Singh Dhoni decided to give the mantle to Suresh Raina, and he decided uh, to be a fielder, and also he, he got a chance to bowl, which I'll talk about. And Suresh Raina was the man who led the team, and Suresh Raina did a wonderful job uh, by leading the team to a victory by four wickets. Yorkshire were the ones who batted first, when Suresh Raina decided to insert Yorkshire first. As far as Yorkshire were concerned, uh, well, they reached a score of 140 for 6. Uh, the, uh, and uh, Gale at the top of the order, he made 23 of 22 balls with 1 4 and 2 sixes. Uh, Lit made 11 of uh, as many balls with 2 fours. Joe Root was a failure, caught behind the bowling of Markle for 6 of 11 balls with 1 4. Uh, uh, something that I would like to really address here because uh, Joe Root had a very good um, English county season. But, uh, well, as far as the Champions League 2012 is concerned, Joe Root has really, really struggled with the bat. And as far as um, Yorkshire were concerned, uh, it was all due to the fact that the, the after 43 for 3 at that stage, Yorkshire, they recovered largely due to the fact that uh, David Miller, with 28 of 26 balls in 1-4 and 1 series, Gary Balance was the man who really, really took this attack uh, by the scruff of the neck and uh, slammed 58 of just 38 deliveries, 1-4 and 5 sixes. 5 sixes would hit with a lot of precision, he was getting underneath the ball very well and he was really really slamming them very hard. And Gary Balance was the highest score of 58 of 38 balls, 1-4 and 5 sixes and that was, that's what, that was the reason that Yorkshire could reach a score of 140 for 6 and they had something to ball at uh, as far as uh, Chennai Super Kings were concerned. Now looking at the bowling figures, now uh, just talking about the bowling figures, let me start off with Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Mahindra Singh Dhoni was the man who was bowling seam up today. And Mahindra Singh Dhoni was really, really carted. Gary Balance really got uh, got stuck onto him and hit him for a lot of sixes. And he was a uh, pretty costly. Two overs went for 25 for Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Ashwin bowled four overs, none for 25. Bollinger, four overs, no man, two for 16, was absolutely on the money. Hilfanos was a uh, bit costly today. Four overs went for 32 runs with one wicket to his name. Albi Markel, uh, he bowled four overs, no maiden, two for 12, and uh, he was very economical, and he also picked up the wickets. Suresh Raina bowled one over for 12 runs, and one over for 15. Ravinder Jadeja today was very, very unimpressive, uh, leaking 15 runs of the very, uh, on the, uh, leaking runs of the solitary over uh, that he bowled. 
As far as Chennai were concerned, Chennai Super Kings uh, they didn't have a good start. Fatu Pleases, uh, who has been very consistent throughout this tournament, uh, was the first victim to go as Patterson um, had him caught. Fatu Pleases went for an airy stroke and Azim Rafiq held the catch. He was gone for one. That was the first picket to go. After that, Murli Vijay also uh, didn't uh, stay for long. Uh, Hanan Dalby, as you know, Hanan Dalby has a very very unorthodox action, bowling action, if one would have seen him. And he picked up the wicket of uh, Murli Vijay. Murli Vijay was gone for 13 of 12 balls with two fours. He tried to hike him over mid wicket and he only uh, succeeded in skying the ball up in the air and uh, Lid took the catch. And then uh, for, for Chennai Super Kings, it was Shuresh Raina came in as a captain. He made 31 runs of 30 balls with one four and one six. He was a victim of Dalby and he was looking very good to Shuresh Raina with his stroke making. But Badrinath was the one really, really turned it. Uh, for the Chennai Super Kings by picking up those quick singles. He had the company of Shuresh Rana who were good runners. Mind this Goni, as you know, what a, what a good runner he is. And uh, both of them uh, really made the uh, process uh, pretty easy because uh, what uh, Badrina did was uh, when Raina departed with the score on 74, uh, he along with Dhoni uh, started getting onto the balling. And Badrinath was looking very good. He was playing some uh, very, very, very nice strokes. Uh, with a, in, in his score of 47 of 38 balls with four fours, Dhoni contributing a hard hit 31 of 23 balls with two fours and two sixes. He played that helicopter shot which went for a six, and he also hit one more six. And as you know, uh, Dhoni believes in raw power. In fact, one of the one of the strokes actually went and hit a spectator uh, at the stadium. You could you could just imagine because if Dhoni plays some strokes, it's hard hit and it is pretty pretty hot and I'm sure that spectator whosoever uh, got it on the, got it wherever they got it uh, should have definitely definitely felt the pain and probably might be wincing into that and that's what Dhoni can do. Uh, Jadeja, uh, he was out for five and then as I said uh, Badrinath was the one, Badrinath, uh, Raina and Dhoni were the ones who formed this uh, partnership and uh, saw to it that Chennai prevailed over Yorkshire by four wickets. Albi Markle was not out on four Vidiman Saha was not out on one. And so the bowling figures are concerned. Wardlow bowled four overs, no maiden, 223. Patterson, three overs, no maiden, two for 22 for uh, Patterson was uh, good. Uh, Dalby, uh, Dalby bowled the four overs, no maiden, 223. Root, one over eight runs. Uh, the spinners uh, came for some real tap from all these batsmen. That is the, uh, that was the middle stages of the game where I thought that uh, Shurey Fana, Badrinath and Dhoni really took advantage. They went after the bowling of Azim Rafiq, the right arm off, he three overs went for 26. Adil Rashid's right arm leg spin went for 32 runs of his full quota of four overs. And that was it. Badrinath of the Chennai Super Kings was named man of the match. And Chennai Super Kings winning the match by four wickets and ending their, uh, ending their assignments in the Champions League 2012 and would definitely be heading home. And Yorkshire also would be heading home. And they had, as I said, uh, they, would, they would like to forget the... Uh, 2020 Champions League 2012 in a hurry. The reason being they didn't have, uh, I mean they couldn't uh, really really uh, make any impression uh, in this uh, particular uh, uh, tournament. Now the other match that we are looking at between Sydney Sixers and Mumbai Indians. Uh, it, was the, it was the Sydney Sixers who actually won the toss, Brad Haddon, and Brad Haddon decided that he would bat first. Well, uh, they had a new opener today, Michael Lumb, uh, as you know Shane Watson has returned back to Australia um, and uh, it was a new player by the name Peter Neville uh, who actually um, uh, played today and Peter Neville, uh, well he could not uh, make much of an impression uh, he was out for uh, just uh, five runs today uh, he was the victim, he was the first wicket to go and for Mumbai Indians for the first time uh, the opportunities were given to Munaf Patel and Tisra Pereira of Sri Lanka so both of them played and uh, Munaf Patel definitely made it count with his performance he had four overs, one maiden Two for 17. Uh, he was uh, looking good, and that's very good bowling in his first ever match there for Munaf Patel. And uh, Michael Lum uh, was uh, not, uh, I wouldn't say, so, so certain strokes of his was uh, had a real stamp of authority, but other than that, uh, I wouldn't say he was uh, really into his element today. But Michael Lum contributed 28 of 22 balls with four fours. Nick Madison was the man in a great hurry, and that's what he did. He really, really carted the ballers. He went aerial right from the word go. Malinga was uppercut for a six. Then he had Pragyan Oja swept into the stands for a six. 
and uh, Madison was looking good. He also two uh, two extra cover drags for four. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, it was uh, very sad that uh, Madison was run out for 27 of 13 balls with two fours and two sixes. Brad Haring, the skipper today, didn't have it his way as he was caught by an idol of the bowling of Munaf Patel for a duck. And uh, Stephen Smith, as you know, in this tournament, it has been he has been another player who has been contributing very, very consistently, whether it is with the bat, whether it is with the ball, or whether it is in the field. And Stephen Smith is a hundred percent contributor. And Stephen Smith today, he made 41 runs of 41 balls with three fours before being clean bowled by Lasit Malinga. He was the last wicket to go, so he was the one who, um, because of the very good bowling, that uh, I, 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 I would say that uh, this track was not so easy to bat on. Uh, there was something in for the bowlers, and as a precise reason, the Sydney Sixers finished with 136 for 7. Uh, Nathan McClellan at the end, uh, stroking uh, 20 runs of 12 balls and unbeaten 20 uh, with 1 4. And finally, the, the, the final tally on the board for Sydney Sixers was 136 for 7. Uh, the bowling figures were very impressive. Munaf Patel, 4 overs, 1 maiden, 2 for 17. Uh, Malinga bowled well, 4 overs, uh, he was a bit costly, uh, leaking at uh, leaking 9 runs per over, 36 runs of his 4 overs with 2 wickets. Pereira uh, bowled 3 overs for 22 runs and 1 wicket in his first match here. Uh, Pragyan Oja, 4 overs, 1 for 29. Harbhajan Singh, uh, uh, Harbhajan Singh got the uh, most important wicket of uh, Moises Henriquez, the all-rounder, with an arm ball that shot in and uh, Henriquez was tapped uh, LBW. Uh, in front of the stumps. Four overs no made and one for 22. Harbhajan was good. And Wayne Smith bowling one over for eight runs. As far as the Mumbai Indians are concerned, they started off very well. Uh, they had a real purpose there. Um, and uh, they started off absolutely uh, uh, brilliantly. In fact, they put on 50 for the partnership. It was the opening pair of uh, Dwayne Smith and Sachin Tendulkar. Uh, if you look at it, uh, uh, they were all uh, runner ball stuff. In fact, uh, Dwayne Smith, 26 of 28 balls with 1-4 and 1-6, Tendulkar making 22 of 23 balls, 3-4s and 1-6, and both the openers uh, were a victim of the bowling of the all-rounder um, Moises Henriquez, who has been doing very well in this tournament. Uh, and after that, um, Rohit Sharma contributing a runner ball stuff, 16, um, I mean he had 16 of 98 balls with 2-4s and 1-6, but, uh, and Dinesh Karthik, as you know, he has been in some very good uh, touch as far as this tournament is concerned, uh, he contributed 18, but there were these were the two runouts uh, that re really would have hurt uh, Mumbai Indians, and probably the, the 12 runs difference could have been uh, really, really uh, not been 12 runs, and probably Mumbai Indians could have won it. But uh, there were uh, two very unfortunate and unnecessary runouts. Rohit Sharma was the first runout by Cummins for 16, direct hit, and Dinesh Karthi was also direct hit by Nathan McCallum, uh, run out for 18 of 18 balls with two fours. Uh, Kiran Pollard, uh, well, Kiran Pollard couldn't do much. He was uh, gone for four. He he was brilliantly caught by Brad Hadding. Brad Hadding today behind the stumps was absolutely brilliant. Uh, with his age that he has, uh, he was showing that he could really, uh, you know, dive like a goalkeeper and take those catches. One was on the offside, then he also had one another brilliant catch when he had uh, Lasit Malinga. When Lasit Malinga trying to duck but got an edge, and Brad Haddon on the onside with his left hand uh, in the air had taken another catch. So Brad Haddon's keeping was a real treat to watch today. Um, Bati Raidu uh, failed. He was there, but he he tried to hit. Uh, I mean, he had the pressure was on, and Ambati Raidu had to hit. He was gone for six of the bowling of Mitchell Stark, and Tisra Pereira uh, came in, and he tried to smash Stark over the fence. Or I mean, uh, uh, smash Stark um, over the over the fence there, and Enriquez took the catch, and he was gone for two. After that, uh, at at that point of time, it was uh, the it was the Mitchell Stark who was who had bowled extremely brilliantly. And uh, the Mumbai Indians were left with a, a real uh, target, like they needed 31, 33 runs of the uh, last over. And Mitchell Stark till then had bowled brilliantly, bowled three overs for 12 runs, uh, and he had uh, uh, no wicket in his, I mean he had two wickets in his bag. It was brilliant bowling. But Harbhajan Singh, uh, he really, really spoiled Mitchell Stark's figures by creaming him for 20 runs in that particular over to finish with an unbeaten 22 of 9 balls with 3 4s and 1 6, which was hit with massive power, the Harbhajan Singh, and that spoiled Mitchell Stark's figures at 4 overs, no maiden 2 for 32. In the end, the Mumbai Indians finishing, um, uh, finishing by, with 124 and losing the match by 12 runs and you know taking their ticket home. Um, 124 for 8 of 20 overs. Josh Hazelwood, uh, 4 overs, no made none for 20. He has been 
uh, bowling uh, splendidly in this tournament. Mitchell Stark, as I said, uh, is da his figures damaged. Bihar Bajan Singh, 232. Patrick Cummings, 4 overs, 216, was superb. Enriquez, 4 overs, 229. 3 overs, 1 made and none for 16 for Steve O'Keefe. Nathan McClum bowled 1 over, no, no made and none for 8. And the man of the match went to Stephen Smith for his all round performance. Well, dear fans, friends, and subscribers, on this note, your, your host Ram is ending the cricket show by telling you that tomorrow we have the last, the final, uh, the, the group A fixtures uh, coming to an end tomorrow before the semi final start. There are two matches coming up. Auckland Aces are taking on the Perth Scorchers, and Delhi Daredevils take on the Titans. Uh, so, see you then tomorrow with the match report. Until then, it's your host Ram bidding goodbye. Thank you.